Another area in Photoshop that helps you control the colors that you're using, of course, is the color picker. And there are different ways in the newer versions of Photoshop that we can control this. If you're on a Mac, go up to the word Photoshop. If you're in Windows, go to Edit and go down to Preferences. Now, once you get there, they're the same preferences, but go into General Preferences. Now, you can also use the shortcut Command K, and that would be in Mac, or Control K, that would be Windows. And in General Preferences, we have the HUD. Now, that stands for Heads Up Display Color Picker. Now, we have a lot of choices here. We've got Hue Strips and Hue Wheels in Small, Medium, or Large. Okay, you can choose any one of those. Let's start with the Medium Hue Strip. Go ahead and select it here. Now, close it out to set it. If we come over here into our document, say with our eyedropper tool selected over here, and click, notice what it does. It gives us that circle and it shows us how it's changing it from the original color that we had. So if I come over here and pick a color in the sky first, then I come over here again and click and hold. It's showing me the original color on the bottom and the color that I'm going for, the newer color at the top. If I let go of my mouse, that's the color I'm going to get. But what about that color picker? Come over on your keyboard and hold down on a Mac the control key. Macs do have a control key, C O N T R O L. Control key, the option key, the command key, and then click. You have to click and hold. Or if you're in Windows, hold down the Shift key, the Alt key, and then right click. Now, what this gives me is a color picker where I can change the color right now. I can move around in here. I can come over here and change it on the spectrum. Come back over here again. So it's a quick, very easy way to choose a different color. And as you can see, that's the new color down here. If we go back to Preferences, Photoshop or Edit on Windows, and we go back into our General, let's change that into a wheel. Now the small, medium, and large thing going on here basically depends on the resolution of your monitor. If you've got something with high resolution, you might want something bigger. I'm going Medium again, and click OK. Now same idea, I'm going to come over and hold down those shortcuts, and then click and hold, and this time I get a wheel. I won't say same difference, it's the same idea. We're selecting a color tonal range in here, or an actual shift in the color here. So instead of you coming out and saying, I need a color, coming and playing over here with colors, or coming into your swatches, over here, remember the shortcut. Remember that is Control, Option, Command, and Click, and Hold on a Macintosh, and Shift, Alt, and Right Click in Windows to pull that up and it will give you a down and dirty, very quick way to choose a color.